Ahoy! After a long hiatus, the Wait, what'd she just say? After a long hiatus. Fine. Ahoy! After a very long hiatus and due to very popular demand since the launch of Crack and Beard, it is with great pleasure that we get to bring back the stream DIY videos with a happy Kraken X and behaving beardly twist while still providing guides for potatoes by a couple of potatoes this time. One of the features or effects that we get asked about quite often on stream is how do we blur our gameplay on stream with the touch of a button on our stream deck. So we tend to use this feature to protect ourselves from stream snipers in certain situations. For instance, if I look at the map table on Sea of Thieves and I don't want to give away any locations or islands or markers on the map. So today we're going to show you how you can toggle any filter on any scene or source in OBS at the touch of a button on your stream deck Liar and board. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Or your touch portal. Again, we are so excited to be able to bring these tutorials back to YouTube. And it has only been made possible through the support of Owned.TV. Own.tv boasts that more than 300,000 streamers on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook use owned products, designs, and extensions. Own.tv provides world-class stream designs, overlays, alerts, emotes, and more so that live streamers can provide incredible experiences for their fans. Whether you're just starting out and need the basics, or you're a seasoned professional looking for a fresh new look, Owned offers hundreds of options covering a variety of styles and aesthetics. You are definitely sure to find something that fits your unique taste and brand. Make sure to use our affiliate links in the description below and use the code Krakenbeard for a whopping 50% discount, whilst also supporting the future of these videos. All right, so first of all, if you're here to specifically learn about the blur filter, then first we're gonna need to download the Stream FX plugin, which comes with a bunch of effects that you can use in your streams, like giving things a 3D filter or the blur filter, etc. And yes, everything we're doing today requires plugins. So it will only work with OBS Studio and not Streamlabs OBS. If you are still using Streamlabs OBS, well then just, um. Just just go install OBS Studio, like, 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 seriously. Anyway, click on the link in the description for Stream FX. Click go to download, scroll down to the bottom, and then select the appropriate installer for your PC. So for me, it's windows.exe. Open the downloaded file, and if you get a pop-up saying Windows protected your PC, don't freak out, just press more info and then run anywhere. Go through the steps and install to your current OBS directory. When you restart OBS, you'll get a stream FX pop-up. You can click OK and close the window and they won't pop up again. Whichever scene or source you want to blur, right click on it, click on filters, then hit the plus. You should see a bunch of new filters including blur. Select blur and give it a name. Here you can see a bunch of blur effects and options that you can go through and try out, but for now, I'm just going to select box type and um, yeah, box type and area subtype with a size of 69. Nice. I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. Once you're happy with the effect, click the little eye icon next to the filter and hide it. Then hit close and then we can just forget about that for now. Okay. So in order to make your Stream Deck have the functionality to control any filter in OBS, you will first need to download and install Noobs Commander, which was created by the wonderful Nutty. Um, I'll be sure to add a card on the screen right now so you can go check him out on YouTube.
Download Noobs Commander from OBS Project, which is linked in the description below. And if you don't have it already, you will need to download OBS WebSocket, which is also linked in the description below. If you don't have OBS WebSocket already, click the link in the description, click go to download, scroll to the bottom and click the appropriate installer. Again, we're on a Windows PC, so we're going to press the windows.exe. Once downloaded, click the EXE and install. And this is just going to enable third party programs like Noobs Commander to communicate with OBS. Once you click the link for Noobs Commander, you'll see a zip file. Click to download, unzip the zip file, and once unzipped, I, I, said, I said zip a lot there. Um, anyway, uh, once it's unzipped, you will need to right click on the EXE or application file and click run in admin mode. You will need to only do this the first time you run this application. Again, if you get a, a big scary blue pop-up saying Windows has protected your PC, um, just click on more info, then run anyway. Then you should get a pop-up asking you to install OBS command. Just click on OK and install that to any directory. Again, you'll not need to do this ever again. It's just a first time thing. Uh, and then after a few moments, Noobs Commander should open up by itself. Now, if OBS is already open, at the top left, it should say connected on um, Noobs Commander, showing that it has, in fact, established a connection with your OBS. Now, if you've never set a port or password number in OBS, then you shouldn't need to worry about it. It won't require any input as it's kind of a, a default setting. If you want to check that it is correct because noobs commanders, you know, struggling connect to, OB, to, to your OBS. Um, so if you want to check that it is correct, go to OBS, click tools at the top, go to WebSocket server setting and make sure the part number is the same. And if you do have a password and enable authentication is selected, make sure that the passwords match. If it says disconnected and doesn't connect when you click on it and you've done all of the above, I would suggest just closing and reopening everything. I mean, you know, turn it off and on again. That usually works, right? <laughs> and it should connect fine. If you've closed the noobs commander and, and struggling to find it on your PC, you can, you can pull it up again pretty easily just by typing in noobs in your Windows search bar. Anyway, on the left-hand side of noobs commander, you should see lots of different actions. Um, that Noobs Commander can execute for you in OBS. So for a quick example, if you click on Scenes, it lists all of your scenes in OBS. So if I want to change my scene to Test 2, uh, I can just then press Test Command, and it will change the scene in OBS. Of course, you can add as many commands here as you want. So for example, I could then add a three-second delay, uh, and then another scene switch to take it back to the first scene. So if I click test command again, it will go through the multi-action process and, and go through the scene changes. But for the sake of today's video, we're going to set it up to toggle up the blurred effect that we created earlier at the touch of a button on the Stream Deck. If you do want to see more videos on Noobs Commander and Stream Deck functionalities and anything like that, then please do let us know in the comments below. And as always, you know... Hit that like and subscribe button. I hate doing that. I really hate self-promotion, but yeah, please do it. Thank you. Okay, bye. To delete any unwanted actions, um, you can just right-click on them and press delete. So to toggle the blur filter, click on filter, then show filter in the first drop-down menu. Select the source or scene you added the blur filter to earlier, and the blur filter you created should show up in the final box. Click test command and the source or scene should blur in OBS. Now click on the export button and save it to any chosen directory and give it the name something along the lines of blur on. This will create two scripts. Both do in fact do the exact same thing, but I would prioritize using the VBS file as when you use the bat file, it can cause a command prompt to flash up on your screen just for a split second. Um, but if there is an issue with the VBS files, um, you can then use the bat as a backup. Um, I think different software don't like VBSs, but I use a Stream Deck. I use the VBSs. It all works fine.
Once that's done, then head back over to Noob's Commander, um, create a command to hide the blur effect. So we'll just change show filter to hide filter, then export that as well. And we'll save that again with a name, something along the lines of blur off. All right, now to the Stream Deck. We're going to show you how to do it on the Stream Deck, but again, this can be used with the Touch Portal and the, the Lion Board. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce that thing. Lion Board? Lion, li Lion Board? Lion Board? Lion Board? I don't know. All right, in the Stream Deck software, you want to look for Multi-Action Switch, and this should be under the option of Stream Deck. Drag it over to an open space, Give it a name and then whilst under tab one, find the open feature under system and then drag it into the action list. Then click choose and select the location that you saved the VBS file to turn blur on. And just a quick note, again, if this doesn't work for whatever reason, try switching over to the, um, the, the bat file instead. Then go to tab two, drag the open command in again and choose the file to hide blur. Click the arrow to go back, and then when you press this button on your Stream Deck, it will blur the source or scene that you chose. And then when you press it again, it should remove the blur. And that is literally it. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and useful. If you do want to continue seeing these types of videos, or if you've got any kind of suggestions, or if you've seen anything done on our streams or, or someone else's stream, and you want to know how it's done, please, please, please do let us know in the comments. You can catch both of us live over on twitch.tv slash happycrackinx and twitch.tv slash behavingbeardly. Bye-bye. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.